An 831 Front Kitchen Super Slide Flagstaff Travel Trailer just came on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. At the time of this filming, I think we've had it here for about one day. Um, Flagstaff is one of uh, Forest River's uh, higher-end uh, ultralight type lines, and they are one of the few that are still putting front windows in things. Actually, a quick note on the windows, you'll notice that all of the windows open on this rig, even the ones on the sides of the slide. That's really nice for getting some cross ventilation. Really helps cut down on the requirement to use air conditioning all the time. Um, shiny aluminum rims on this one, so you won't have to worry about those uh, corroding on you. And uh, this is a rear bedroom, which is nice. It's actually kind of classic. Campers used to always have a rear bedroom. And then because of slides, they started moving the bed to the front to keep the weight off the tongue. Um, this one being a lightweight line, they were able to more easily get away with that so you don't have too much pin weight burying the back of the tow vehicle. We've got them packed a little bit close, so I apologize if the camera gets a little zoomed in a couple times here. One thing I do want to point out is this has a little bit of a front storage pocket and your normal pass-through storage here in the back. Another cool thing is if you watch the awning arms, you see they encompass both doors, so you do have some very nice awning coverage on here. and. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice to kind of hop in and hop out. You don't have to worry about, oh, i got to go out the other door because it's raining. Cool thing on these flagstaffs, this is a factor they share in common with a lot of Rockwoods. They have an extended grill mount. And you'll see inside on the sofa, there's actually like a little table so that you can mount the grill and the table and have a place to, you know, flip your burgers and then set your spatula with your platter. And preventative maintenance measures like this, I'm always very eager to see when they put little mud dauber screens over like furnace vents and whatnot. The idea there is it's going to keep uh, critters from crawling up into the furnace exhaust and causing you some problems. Now one of the reasons I put these videos together is to uh, show you the things a still photo can't see. Because if you look at the uh, still photos of this thing, you're going to look at it and be like, wow. Wow, this is just a, a you know a deal that's too good to be true, and we've all learned in life that if something seems too good to be true, it might be. Um, I don't think it's a major thing, but I want you to be aware of it. This trailer suffers from something I have never ever seen before, and it's something I can't even really show you in this video, but I wanted to talk about. There are soft spots in this living room floor, not attributed to water damage. I have no idea how they got there. Um, the best estimation I have is that the lamination had partially failed in the flooring at some point. Now what I can estimate pretty, uh, you know, with, with a fair amount of uh, reassurance is that this was not a trailer that was towed, so it didn't buckle going down the road. I saw a sticker labeled 83 on the tongue, which indicates to me this was at lot number 83. So this is probably used on like a seasonal site somewhere and someone spent a lot of time camping in it. My guess is this was the, kind of the community trailer that a lot of people were in and out on, and it just got overworked, which is really unusual. I've never seen that happen on a laminated floor, but it's there. I mean, you can't even, let's see if I can find a spot here. Like, I don't know if you can sort of see my foot right there, but obviously I'm walking on it. It's, I'm a 200 pound guy, you know, I'm not a small person. It's solid. It can hold more than me, but it's there. Anyway, now that the elephant's out of the room, we can go back to learning about the trailer. Uh, this was outfitted with, you see, the all-white woodwork package. Even the hardwood table is white. And that re looks really sharp here in the kitchen with uh, the stainless steel appliance package. The contrast between the two is awesome. Very space-age looking here. Um, cool thing on these is very maintenance-friendly in terms of like your roofing standpoint. For instance, walk into a lot of used travel trailers and do this you'd put your hand right through the roof. So, you know, when I'm talking about the floor being funny, you see how the roof is built the same as the floor. Obviously, the roof is solid. Again, it's just a fluke weird thing, but that's why we're being very fair on the price tag, and we've taken some pretty nice money off of the price tag on this to sort of reflect that. Um, you see there's lots of storage in here, and all of your overhead doors have double struts to keep them open. All of your air conditioning vents on here uh, can uh, turn and be shut off individually, which is really nice because that will, uh, you know, if one person's sitting at the sofa, they don't end up freezing because the cold air torrent is blowing on them and not their, everybody else. Um, you will see a couple spots where previous owners had put in these little shells. They did a nice job. They look fairly decent, like here's another one. And it's just handy little things like this chair. That was probably where they'd set their iced tea or something like that, either 
Long Island or traditional variety, I don't know. Um, hide a bed sofa that will kick out into a sleeper if need be. There are two section day and night shades on all your uh, windows here. And you see with the um, valances and lambrequins here that you have full privacy when you pull those shades down. No one can see around those. Interesting thing on this one, it actually does have two gray tanks you can see from the monitor here. You have your normal gray black fresh water, then you have a galley, which is your kitchen. Uh, they stole that word from the marine industry, I believe. So you have uh, you know a separate gray tank for the kitchen. Um, that way they didn't have to run tons of extra plumbing. Now you see we have a fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub, though it does have a little garden tub seating area in here. Show you that real quick. Everything in here looks pretty nice. Something I do like about this one, it has a serious closet and linen cabinet right here in the bathroom because there's normally just not enough storage for linens and things in a travel trailer's bathroom. Lots of nice cute little touches in this layout, like little things like this, very residential and homey. Um, one thing I do want to point out is your window covers, um, or pardon me, your roof vents have the uh, max air covers on top of them. So you can leave those vents open. In fact, now that I say that, I left this one open on purpose to kind of demonstrate that fact for you. So you can see, uh, even when it's raining, you can keep those open and you can keep, uh, you know, rain and things from blowing in. Um, again, very residential feature. Has a full-size bathroom sink. That's something that uh, Forest River's top-end ultralights tend to be pretty good about. Actually, a lot of your Forest River products are very good about those bigger sinks. It's extremely handy because some of these things have sinks so small you can barely wash your hands in them. You see, we do have a, uh, a true raised panel door um, and, uh, I mean, very residential fixture right there. Um, rear bedroom, very standard bedroom, just happens to be at the back of the trailer, but they do include the window above the headboard of the bed, which is something that has been lost quite a bit in recent years of production from a lot of manufacturers. Both sides of the bed do have little bed stands. Uh, looking over, well, first of all, above the bed, there's also another vent up here with the max air cover. So there's three max air covers on this rig in total. And then, uh, obviously, your little TV shelf. And, again, for quick inside-outside access, the bedroom door does uh, feature awning coverage. Um, only other thing I thought of to really talk about is it does have a, uh, a toilet razor here. So that toilet is about two, three inches taller than normal. Great if you're a little bit older and uh, mobility is becoming a uh, increasing concern. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.